Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mike here from The Lost Co. Doing a little chicken, because we haven't made a video in a while. We just wanted to say what's up and kind of catch up with you guys. So we figured that we'd show you some new projects on the horizon and then just kind of show you a couple new things going on in and around the shop. So uh, what do you say? First, let's check out some new stuff in the service side of the shop. And so I'm gonna get this uh, microphone set up in a COVID safe environment. Hey, put your shirt on. Steve's got his shirt off again. It's a normal occurrence. No, there he goes. Now he's all shy. Now he puts his nipples away. Alex. Hey. What's up with this new here machine that we got here? It's uh, Adriani vacuum pump SP4. SP4. This thing takes in new shocks and it turns them into something completely different. Yeah, it just pops out. Yeah. You remember the uh, Willy Wonka and the chocolate factory? It's like that. You just boop, boop, boop. Oh. Yeah. I don't do any of the suspension rebuilds at all. I don't rush on anything at all um, because Alex and Russ are much better than I am at that. Don't laugh, Russ. So we got this thing in the shop for better efficiency because so that when you're rebuilding shocks, you can kind of step away where it, while it's being bled rather than doing it by hand, is that right? That's right, yeah. So this thing will bleed your damper in a shock. So uh, aside from just doing like a simple air can service, it'll actually it'll actually bleed the, the damper oil. Yeah. So bleeds all the air out vacuums for two and a half minutes and then pumps it in for another two and a half. And Sweet. And how long do you think that you would usually take to bleed a shock damper by yourself without a fancy Italian machine? Uh, it depends on shock to shock, but usually like 10 to 15 minutes per. Sometimes a little longer if you have an extra air bubble that's hanging out, sometimes a little less. So this not only does it for you, but it also does it in a fraction of the time? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, essentially. You've been using it, what, for three days now? Or you've missed this thing because you had this at your last shop, right? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is something I worked with for a couple of years before, and yeah, it's good to have them back. All right, well, that's that's the main upgrade. Um, I don't think there's much else going on over here. Russ has been building a lot of wheels lately. How's it going over here, Russ? How do your uh, how do your wrists feel? Uh, you know, they get sore from time to time, but you know, you got to make the round things round, and that's what it takes. Yep, and good thing you're doing that, because if I was doing it, I would not make that round thing round. I'd somehow make that round thing square. <laughs> Let's move on to the next uh, next side of the shop. I did want to point out that inventory is getting a little bit more normal. Um, it's not completely back to what it was maybe pre-COVID times, um, but it's getting a lot better for sure. I would say that this quarter three of the year has been definitely a better time for inventory normalization, I guess we can say, compared to quarter two over the spring and summer when, of course, everyone needs bike parts and wants bike parts to upgrade and fix their bikes. So a little late, but hey, better late than never, they say, whoever they are. Yeah, the only thing we can't get still is derailleurs. Nobody has derailleurs, unless it's electronic. We've got a ridiculous amount of electronic derailleurs, but no derailleurs that move with the cable, unfortunately. So uh, that is still something that's very funky and hopefully we get derailleurs soon because we need to fix some bikes around here. All right, I'm gonna mask up again real quick. See that SRAM product placement? They paid me $1 million to wear this SRAM mask in this video. Yeah, we got a couple newcomers here at the shop. This is Harrison. He's from Wisconsin, we just learned. And uh, you have a cheese hat at home? Yeah. We thought that they confiscated at the airport when you were on your way out here. Is that true or not? Mm, no. No, okay, he's got the cheese hat at home. We'll try to get the cheese hat in the next video. You said they have a cheese museum? It's a cheese castle. All right, we've also got the man behind the lens and behind the keyboard lately for the social media and content creation stuff. This is Brody. What's up, Brody? Hey. Where are you from? I'm from Colorado. And why'd you move out here? Colorado's really dry. I feel like, I feel like living out here, I'm like soaking up like 20 years of moisture that I never got. Yeah, you do come into work just drenched in water every day. I don't really know why. When it's not even raining, you're just covered head to toe. But that's Washington for you. Most people use these weird things called towels. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. You're anti-towel. Yeah, not anti-vax, but anti-towel. It's like a conspiracy or something with the presidents. <laughs> Definitely a conspiracy. Yeah, I just don't wash at all. I'm anti-wash. So that's all the stuff in the water, you know? So if you follow us on Instagram and you see any of our Instagram posts, um, the person that has taken those photos is most likely Brody here. And a lot of our blog posts and things like that of recent are going to be from Brody as well. He's doing great work. Very, very talented photographer. And we're very glad to have you. Thank you. Start to be here. Yay. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's next go to this corner of the shop back here. And so back here, it's kind of just a big empty spot. 
and uh, there's not really much going on. If you've seen our other videos in the past, our blogs of the kind of shop tour, um, we usually have our video set over here. Like we were saying, it's a, it was a temporary set because we were kind of waiting to get a new space so that we can have a permanent studio outside of the shop so that we can easily shoot videos uh, around the schedules of the open time to the shop so we don't have to stop and pause what we're doing when customers come in the store or if we're taping boxes or anything like that. So this is the big project going on right now at the shop. It is, we've got a new space and it's right across the street and that's where our new studio is gonna be. So let's walk on over there. We decided to save some time and uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to ride the bike over. Here we go. Safety first, you don't wanna be riding a bike out on the street, especially with all the cars and the traffic um, without a helmet on. I'm not much of a road cyclist, but sometimes I dabble. Almost 360. All right, here we are. Woo! That was a lot harder than it looked. Welcome to the Bat Cave. This is our new space right across the street from the shop. Uh, why is it called the Bat Cave? Well, because the person that owns this building named it the Bat Cave LLC. So that's just what it's called. It's called the Bat Cave. And all of the units actually have the suite number labeled with a bat, like CNC little uh, number plate on them. It's pretty funny. So uh, we're just gonna refer to this as the Bat Cave, as it should be. And so here's what we kind of got going on here. It's a little bit of a construction site right now uh, because we're still kind of underway. We've got some, some sawing, we got some chopping, some measuring, usually just measure once and then cut three times. That works the best for sure. I watched it on a YouTube video. Uh, we've got just some shelving going in and things like that. Um, and the main thing that we've done so far is some sound reduction or sound absorption because this is a gigantic square or gigantic rectangle and it is very noisy in here. On this side, there's not as much sound stuff because we're actually gonna be filming on this side of this shelf. But on this side, pretty much we just got this black backdrop which we use for a lot of photographs for social media and for our website and things like that. Um, up in the corners, you can kind of see these big black rectangles hanging on the wall and those are sound absorption panels. Uh, we are no acoustic masters, but we are kind of slowly but surely getting all this stuff done. Um, and the, most of the sound absorption and sound work has been on this side, which is where we're gonna be filming. So as you notice, we've got a bunch of big panels on the wall. We built all these over the course of a couple days, me and Alex who is filming right now, and these just absorb sound. So sound that's bouncing around off the walls, it just gets kind of caught in here and it is, oh man, it is night and day is not even the right term to use when it comes to the sound bouncing around in here from before we did any work and how it is now. Um, it was super echoey and boomy and now it is a completely different, much more manageable sound uh, set up here in the studio. So this is where we're gonna be filming stuff. Right now we've just got a, we just built this new green screen. That way we can get a little bit more creative in our videos. And uh, yeah, we were just kind of experimenting with different tops of tables and things like that. But we're gonna get out on the woods on Friday and out on the trails, we're gonna take some photos. We're gonna have a photo kind of printed out and stuck up on the wall. Um, so it kind of is just a little bit more of a natural out in the woods look to our video set. We've had some comments in the past like uh, asking us about our video setup. And it's never been exactly to the point where we were super stoked with it because when we moved to the new shop, we were growing so quickly. We, we weren't sure exactly how long we would have that space in the corner. Um, now we need it for shelf space for, for more parts and things like that. And so we had to get that out of there. And so luckily this space became available um, a couple months ago and we just moved into this, into this unit here um, maybe a month ago. So what you see here is just, you know, maybe one or two days a week here and there, just trying to get it ready. So this green screen will probably go over there so we can do green screen stuff on a different wall and then we'll have our main kind of backdrop over here. And so we're gonna do all of our review videos and comparison videos, uh, all the inside shots will be over here. And it's nice too because this is our own space and we're not competing with, you know, customers coming in the store, hearing gears shifting in the stand and things like that. And also taping boxes is pretty loud as well. So it's kind of tough to film videos because we have to either do it really early in the morning at like 6.30 in the morning before the shipping guys get here or we have to do it basically after the shop is closed 
this is very nice. We've got our own setup. So um, yeah, we have not done videos in a bit. It's been a very busy summer, but we're hoping that this kind of separate studio setup should help quite a bit with that. And I'm hoping that we can definitely start pumping out more and more videos throughout the fall, especially a little bit, hopefully some more, um, some more kind of tech, more like educational things, just about bike specs that people may, <sighs> specs that people might need some help learning or um, knowing more about. So that is kind of the goal for this season. And that's pretty much what we've got going on right now. So yeah, we're here for you anytime you need us. If you need any parts or anything like that, you know, we've got that website, thelostco.com. Go over there, free shipping in the USA, over 49 bucks, except for really, really big things like wheels and bikes and things like that. Yeah, and your order will ship out same day if placed before 2.30 Pacific time. You know, just a, just a quick little plug there. So like we said, uh, we're here for you. If you ever have any questions, call us 360-306-8827. Email us at sales at thelostco.com. And we are here to help you for whatever you need. Thanks for joining us. It was nice to just catch up with everybody. And uh, yeah, until next time, peace out.